Hi, welcome to this Chroma tutorial on how to set up Cura 15 to print in multiple colors. I'm going to switch over to Cura 15, and this is a stock profile for a, a CraftBot printer, but open up your printer profile that you would normally use for printing in single color. Next, choose Machine and Machine Settings. The first thing we're going to do is change the extruder count to 4 and click OK. And before we finish, we're actually going to go back into the machine settings. So machine, machine settings. And now you'll notice that there's some more settings for the extruders here. And we're going to make sure that all of the offsets are set to zero. Click OK. Next, we'll go to the advanced tab and look for a setting called dual extrusion switch amount. We want to set this to zero. And finally, we will go over to our start and G code and copy the start G code from start.g code here and paste it over start two, start three, and start four. So selecting start two, I'm going to select here. And instead of directly pasting it, I'm going to press enter on my keyboard, leaving an empty line here, and then pasting the start G code from start.g code. I'm going to do that again and start G code 3. And one last time in 4. We're also going to do the same for the NG code. Copying Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac. And coming down to N2, selecting it all pressing enter and control V or command V pasting that in. And finishing it up here with n4.g code. And there you go, you're ready to print in multiple colors and it's your profile is all formatted for use with chroma. So to load your first four color model, you'll click load and you'll navigate to four STLs, one for each color. You'll select them all, click open. Then you'll notice that the parts are separated on the bed, and this is not what we want. So to snap them all together, we'll left click on the first model, right click on one of the others, and choose dual extrusion merge. And this will snap them all together. With this selected, I will right click on one of the other models, again choosing the merge command, and one last time, dual extrusion merge. So now that they're all snapped together, it behaves very similarly to a single color part. You can rotate it around, you can scale it, and you can move it. And when you're ready, you can save this toolpath to your disk, and navigate there and bring that into Chroma and you'll be ready to post process this for printing with palette.